Today's cool project comes courtesy of the alley. Here's a sled that was found in the trash. It's probably from the 1950s or 60s. I'm gonna combine it with this board, which I made to look old. Together, these two items are gonna become one. One really cool shelf, which I can mount on the wall. Welcome to Alley Picked. Sleds have been around for thousands of years, originally used for cargo. During the 1800s, it started to become a wintry sport. In 1889, Samuel Allen filed a patent for his flexible flyer sled. In 1922, you could purchase any of these models for under six bucks. The good news is that these are still available today for the meager sum of $169. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. My sled upcycling project begins by cutting up this pine board that I made to look older. I need three pieces two feet long. Next, I carefully measure the distance between the sled rails to cut my boards to width. Each of the three shelves are going to need to be custom fit. Before I can install a bottom shelf, I have to remove this metal support. I grind off the end of the rivet and then pry off this end. Once I have this cut off on both sides, I can begin custom fitting the shelf. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. How would you like to be in an Alley Picked video and win a hat like this? In one of my upcoming videos, I plan to feature viewer projects. I want to see the stuff that you saved from a landfill, upcycling, woodworking, and restoration projects. Maybe you built something cool out of an old wood pallet. Maybe you restored and rescued an old rocking chair. Maybe you upcycled one thing and turned it into another. Whatever it is, I want to show it off on one of my Alley Picked videos. So I'm looking forward to seeing your creative ideas. You can send pictures of your projects to Alley Picked at gmail.com and I'll enter you into a drawing to win this hat. Sorry Woodrow, not this hat but one just like it. I'm gonna announce the winner when I release the video. Okay, fine Woodrow, I'll let you pick the winner. As I said, each of the three shelves are going to need to be custom fit with notches cut in them to fit snugly between the rails. Before I can permanently mount the shelves to the sled, I need to make the cut ends look like the top and bottom surfaces. The way I did this was to use a stiff wire wheel on an angle grinder. You may not know this, but the wood grain of a piece of wood is harder and denser than the part with no grain. When you use a wire wheel on the wood, the softer bits get removed, leaving behind the grainy texture. You can then paint or stain the wood in order to give it an older look. I'm thinning out the grain wood stain so it's not so dark as to obscure the wood grain completely. To prepare the sled itself, I'm going to sand it lightly with some coarse sandpaper. Then I'll stain it using the same thinned out gray wood stain. I think it came out great. I even learned a few things along the way. Never knew you can stain old rusty metal. It gave it a nice gray tint. I even noticed where there's a couple of holes where the rope used to go on the sled. You can use those to mount this thing directly to the wall. What would you make from an old sled like this? Put your ideas in the comment section on this video. And don't forget to send me projects that you've made, pictures of things that you've built upcycled, refinished, and restored. Send them to alleypick at gmail.com and I'll try to include them in an upcoming video. And you'll be entered in a contest to win a hat like this. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up. I'm Tom, this is Alley Picked, and until next time, I'll meet you in the alley.